Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Weekly Wednesday. You have questions and answers. It's an off-the-cuff video, guys. What that means is I record and upload. There is no fancy editing skills. You won't see my intro symbol at the beginning. I do have a transition button, so if there's noise inside my control, I can stop filming, wait for the pass to carry on. Or if there's something that needs my attention, I can stop filming that and crack on. These weekly Wednesdays are essentially a Q&A. You guys ask me questions and I answer them. It is primarily model focused, of which it's primarily GW stuff, and it's primarily 4K. There is terrain questions from time to time, and some general information about myself and what's going on around the workshop. We have a weekly vote, which I'll get into when it, uh, we come to it. And we have a data card review. So I review, in what I do there is I take a data card and I review it for you guys. The data card is always something that I've used on the table. So I know how it works and you know, all that sort of stuff. So let's start with some questions. Sisters look great. How long till they're on the table? Um, I presume you're talking about the this, this, this Celestine Sacrosaints that I put up on, on Sunday. I think, I honestly think the nids are going to be on the table um, before sisters. Because the nids are almost there, ready for the table, which is going to be nuts for me to run a nid army. Now, I know there's, if there's models I want to use that I don't have that mark has, I know I can use that's not a problem. But you'd yeah, be interesting. It'd be interesting for that. But the, the nids will be up there first. There's still a lot to build for the sisters. Nine Paragon War suits. And I keep putting them off. But I do need to get them done. But I think for those, because I've only filmed one unit on one unit of three on camera. <coughs> I think I would need like um, a two or three day run to build them. Because I've got a funny feeling as I'm putting them together, it's going to be one of those things where I glue and I have to wait for it to stop. Like wait for it to dry. So I'd rather have a two or three days run where I have other videos already to go up, but just I can then focus on that and you know, sort of on the background. But hopefully not too long. I know everything I have here comes to I think it's fifteen hundred points. So um, I haven't even looked at Christmas boxes, see if there's any sisters left because I don't have money for it, unfortunately. <coughs> now. Monday painting video. I was meant to go up Monday. It's not finished. There's too much detail on that model. Now, I was meant to start it on uh, Sunday. I came over to start doing bits and pieces. And it was so cold. I didn't feel that great anyway. So I stopped. Went to have coffee and you know, warm up a bit. And realised I've been painting for like three and a half hours. I thought it was only over here, maybe half an hour, an hour. Come out Monday to do some bits pieces. Again, just so, you know, not feeling very great. And it was minus four this morning. So that's how cold it was. <coughs> well, that's the, how cold it has been around that sort of time, but sort of temperature. I haven't been well either, so. I did some more painting on it, and I said, right, I'm going to get it done for Monday. It'd be done in time. No, I think it's like another three or so hours on it. I'm like, where's the time going? And the time that I spent doing it, I've, what have I done? <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't look much what I've done with the time that I, I spent on it, but I have done a lot on it. I'm not even going to give you a sneaky peek because it's it's looking absolutely beautiful. And I want to give it to you when it's done. That's what I want to show you. Then Tuesday I had to go to Mark's for the game. <coughs> <coughs> Didn't have it here because the table's too busy. I was meant to edit that video on Tuesday, to upload on Tuesday. Yesterday. I got back from there, I had to take my boy to claim to, to go to the, the post office. Come back, pick the one up from school. As I got down there, there's a flat tire in the car. 
So, got her from school and then was there for like an hour. Just because the ground I was on wasn't flat, it was the car was sort of like at an angle, so it was weird trying to. I got it off and then I couldn't get a new one on, so I had to jack up a little bit more. No, nope, keep jacking up. The only good thing it wasn't raining. The little ones were standing there holding tools for me. Um, asking me 101 questions about why why are you doing that for how, how does that work and and when you're in that when you're in that zone where you're like not well you're cold you want to get back and, and do stuff and then I've got work I'd work last night as well and I wanted to edit yeah, yesterday's battle report you don't want to be answering questions <laughs> about something that's you know you're trying to fix i did answer her questions explained it all to her and she was like okay yep anyway so i got back and it was it was too late for me to really do anything by the time i had to cough and warm myself up it was too late for me to come do painting too late for me to edit the video it was time for me to get ready for work and go to work so that's why i didn't go up yesterday so the plan is for it to go up tomorrow i'm going to edit it tonight and see on time before tomorrow which means the time I have left today and some time tomorrow I'm going to try and finish the sister tank <coughs> I say finish I probably end up finishing it Friday because it's just I love it it's absolutely so the detail on it is beautiful anyway you know you guys see that from the let's build but what I've done on it I'm just like wow what I'm actually thinking now is I want two more of them so I can have three because you have three in your list and slowly getting them painted up as well because there's a lot of time spent on this model so far. I think it's need like six, seven hours painted on them so far on, on the tank. Well, I, I, I don't even want to show you. <laughs> I want to give you a sneaky peek, but I don't want you to see it yet. It's it, well, but anyway. Uh, will you guys be doing any 3K uh, games soon? I keep forgetting to ask Mark this because I keep being asked from you guys like, you know, 2000 point games are, are great, but can we have a 3000 point game this often? I meant to ask him, can we do a 3K game once a month? Because there's units that I units of models that I want to use that I don't feel uh, to put to 2000 point army. The lion, for example. <coughs> Maybe a Chaos Space Marine Force with two land raiders. You know, something like that. Or a demon demon army with like this I've, I've run um, last week, but with those infantry as well. And you know, there's some really crazy stuff. I'm not even thinking Necrons for 3,000 points because that's an easy thing. Or Space Marines, 3,000 points, that's an easy thing. I'm just thinking about other lists I could run. Anyway, um, yeah, I forgot to ask him and I, I need to ask him. Have you looked at the old world recently? If so, what are your thoughts on it? I haven't looked at it recently. Now, Mark, he's, Mark plays it, um, uh, you know, in the North Korea World Gaming Club. He does have games. And he has games, you know, at his house and stuff like that. So he's very keen to, to play. And I'm keen to play for the channel. The problem I have at the moment is... Um, I don't have the money to get the Chaos Warrior uh, army book. <coughs> Once I've got that in my hands, then I'll start flicking through the rules and just refreshing myself on the rules to make sure... What difference there are between what I've, what I've played previously and what they are now. And then start making lists and start having games with them. And filming it for you guys. Because I think it would be a nice refreshing thing to have an uh, old world game on the table. Rather than 40k. I'm not saying I don't like 40k. I love 40k. <coughs> <coughs> really. Um, buying the Indominus box. And then getting the Imperium magazines has really uh, reinvigorated my love for 40k. Sort of bird bouncing around the floor. Right, it really reinvigorated my love for 40k. 
and then Mark come in and we start playing games absolutely amazing you know and it's just it's really pushed me more into 40k I still love fantasy I actually love fantasy painting it and, and playing the games but you know at the moment my passion is uh, 40k but with that said I am looking to go and get some uh, old old games going because you know not just because I love it but it's, you know you guys some of you guys will be interested in it some of you know actually fantastic some of you will look and go oh that's an interesting this I like that because I guarantee you some of the 40k lists I've done not just that I've done that Mark's done as well some of you guys have looked at it and gone I like that or I like that but I wouldn't take this guy or this tank or whatever it is I would take one or two of these you know <coughs> and that's great that's what that does for the community as a whole you'll go to your wargaming club and you'll run that list and people like that or you'll go to a tournament and run that list and you know do very well or you know may not do very well but you've had really good games really intense strong games and that just makes everyone enjoy it more everyone um look at crazy lists to, to do and you know mad ways of doing things and I, I like that i love inspiring people to to go that way and I, i'm sure mark really enjoys it when people look at what he's doing and, and you know copies it or copies something very similar but yes to answer your question because i've waffled on i do want to get into back into uh Final Fantasy as well because I have loads of Chaos Warriors old school Chaos Warriors I would still get some of the new stuff newish stuff just to add to it I've even got a box of Chaos, and Chaos Knights up here to build <coughs> well, such a dose on it's horrible I've had it for a week now so hmm. I'm going to bring you down show data card now and then we'll go into the boat okay Right, so this week I'm going to show you Hanlin Banshees. The new Eldari Codex is just around the corner after Christmas, so... <coughs> oh, sorry, let's go into it. They have movement of eight. Okay, I say they because you had Hanlin Banshee and Hanlin Banshee Exarch. The only difference is the Exarch has an additional wound. So movement eight, toughness three, because, you know, the Eldari, Eldari and Drukari are mostly toughness three. They have a four plus uh, armor save. Obviously, the one wound each, but the Exarch is two wounds. Leadership six and OC control one. Now, they're all armed with shrunken pistols, okay, which is an assault, which means they can advance and still shoot, and it's a pistol, so they can shoot when they're in, when they're in engagement range. 12 inch range, one attack, freeze to hit, strength four, AP minus one, one damage apiece. So it's not that tasty. The Exarch can have this tricycle, tres however you pronounce that word which is an assault weapon it's a range 12 three attacks freeze to hit strength four minus two ap and one damage piece now the normal banshees are armed with banshee blade which is three attacks freeze to hit strength four ap minus three which is absolutely deadly when you think about it. i think i think a last count is minus three ap minus three as well so it's very deadly one damage piece. Now, the uh, Exarch, if you take that, that one at the bottom there as a ranged weapon, it's also a melee weapon. So it's five attacks, freeze to hit, strength three, minus two AP, and one damage piece. Okay? You got the Executioner, which I think is like a great sword. It's four attacks, freeze to hit, strength five, minus two AP, and two damage piece. I always take the mirror swords with my Exarch, so this thing looks cooler. It's six attacks, freeze to hit, strength four, again, minus three AP. So four Banshees attacking with the Banshee Blades, which are minus three AP, and then her attacking with that. It's all damage one, but it's still minus three. So a Space Marine, without any sort of benefit, you know, cover or uh, armor of contempt, we be making armor saves on a six, which is delicious now they have always fights first so if your enemy unit charges you you get to fight them first strands of fate which is the odari um thing for fate dice their ability is acrobats acrobatic sorry 
This unit is eligible to declare a charge in the turn which it advances or falls back. So you can advance this unit. Its weapons have the assault keyword. So they can shoot. So if you think 8 inches, roll a d6. Even if you roll 1, they're still 9, in, nine inches. If you roll a 6, you're talking um, 14 inches. And it's still to declare a charge as well. There's a 5 plus invulnerable save. The invulnerable save is improved to 4 plus against melee attacks. So in combat, they have 4 plus invulnerable save. Now, there's only one character type that can lead this unit. And that is none other than this young lady, Jane Zar. She's a Phoenix Lord, which is uh, very tasty. Sorry, I forgot the keywords for them are infantry and handed banshees. Okay. Her keyword is infantry character, epic hero, Phoenix Lord, Jinza. <coughs> and she has eight movement, toughness three, two plus armor save, five wounds, leadership six, and OC one. Her ranged weapon is a silent death. Again, it's an assault weapon, so it's nice. It's 12 inch range, six attacks, ballistic skill two plus, so she's hitting on twos of that weapon. Strength six and it's minus two AP, but it's only one damage a, a piece, which is you know, but you're, you're doing six of them on there. So, against the Space Marine, they're going to uh, rightly buffs to the Space Marine save, they're going to be saving on a five plus. Her melee weapon, the Blade of Destruction, has two profiles strike and sweep. So, the strike is uh, six attacks, sweep is 12, both hitting on twos. The strike has strength six. And the sweep has uh, strength four. They're both minus AP three. So again, the space room will be saving on a six against that without any buffs. The strike is damage two, and the sweep is damage one. Now that's that's all nice and tasty, but here's where the fun starts. Because she's lead, if she's leading you to banshees, here's where the fun starts. Now bear in mind, you can have ten banshees plus her and put them in a, a grav tank, wave serpent, or you know, I think. I think she can even actually fit into, they can actually fit into a Falcon Grab tank, which can deep strike. So, where the fun starts. Storm of Silence. While this model is leading a unit, each time a model that unit makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. So that means the Banshees, from, is that many attack or just? No, it just makes an attack. So when they're shooting, they'll be hitting on twos. When they're fighting in combat, they'll be hitting on twos, if she's leading the unit. That is amazing. And the Whirling Death. Once per turn, you can target this model's unit with the Heroic Intervention Stratagem for 0 CP and can do so even if you've already done this stratagem in a different unit this phase. Again, that's actually fantastic because they fight first. So they can actually intervene and then just wipe the enemy out before they get a chance to attack you. She has a 4 plus invulnerable save. I don't have, I have the older version of this model. I actually had two of the older versions of this model. I don't think it's complete, but I do want to get her um, to add to my Banshees. But yeah, that's the, those units there. I just hope they don't change her too much when it comes to the uh, Eldara Codex being dropped just after Christmas. Right, so now I'm going to bring you show you the vote. The way the vote works is I'll show you host of models. And you guys comment below about what, what you want me to paint for next Monday's painting video. Now, I say next Monday's painting video. Um, this Sunday is actually the third year anniversary of my daughter's passing. So I won't be out here prepping anything on Sunday. Okay. So when I say Monday painting video for next week, it might actually go up on Tuesday just because I may not. May not have the time fully on Monday, and I don't know what sort of way. Usually, the build up to the day is worse, but the actual day of her anniversary is okay. Everyone's okay. Everyone's upset a little bit, but they're still okay. It's just uh, the tension of building up to it. No, I can't just. I'm going out here to prep stuff over here. You know, I can't do that. Um herself will be taking the, all the Christmas decorations and putting them up because that's the last thing they were doing together 
that's, that's the same thing she's been doing for, since, since the passing every year, the same date on her anniversary, just the Christmas decorations up. I know the the immobilator tank isn't finished yet and it'll probably go up on Friday. I do apologise about it, guys. I just, apart from being sick, being very cold, and then being other bits of pieces going on with the tire and the car and all that sort of stuff, the sheer level of detail in this model, I've bit off more than I could chew, to be honest with you. That's, to, for me, that's probably the equivalent of me putting the Dark Master in for the boat and they get a boat done, or Karai's Fate Weaver and they get a boat done. Just because of sheer level of detail, I mean, I didn't realise there's actually wood panels on, on the tank as well. <laughs> Which, I, you know, I obviously want to go to town with it and make it look really great. So, Next week's Patreon video might go up on the Tuesday, just because of what's going on at the weekend. I'll try and do it for the Monday, you know, I can't guarantee it. Obviously, if it's a squad, I might just do the one model and focus on that, and then add the rest of the squad to the rest of the models that I have here to finish off. Death Guard and Comb Berserkers. Anyway, the way it works is I'll show you host the models, and you guys comment below on what you want me to paint for the next Monday's painting video. Now, you can vote for as many things as you like. Do not say I vote for everything because it won't count. But you can say I vote for any of the Space Marines, any of the Chaos Space Marines, any of the Necrons, any of the Tyranids, you know, and it will count. There is no sisters in it this week because you may be able to take one and that's what's been painted up, you know, about you guys on Friday. So no vow in the vote this week, which is, I think it's quite nice to, to that another sister won. So she has to come out for a week. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, and I've checked the votes. On, I've probably checked the votes on Saturday to give everyone a chance that's in a different time zone that's behind me, behind my time zone to actually chuck a vote on. There is also a wild card vote. You'll find out what that is if it wins. And there's creator's choice. So if nobody votes, yeah, or if you all vote creator's choice, then Greatest choice is I pick the model and paint it, okay? And that's a hard one because I want to paint everything. I'm going to bring you those shaded models now. If the recognize my fingerprint. Right, so all the sisters have been removed and a few other things have been put in. So the Locust Heavy Destroyer, sorry, Locust Destroyer Lord. We have the Jackals that are still here. We have the old Deathwing Knights. Still amazing sculpts. Barbara wants it here. I actually need to build the other five from the uh, Combat Patrol magazine. We have the uh, Scourges from Drakari. We have the Chase of the Colts and Hybrids. We have Sabretooth. We have the Leech Guard. We have the Drakari Venom. Keep that in there because it's still sitting the back there. We have the uh, Inner Circle Companions. We have a Chaos Sorcerer Mark of Stanesh. We have the Blade Guard Veterans. We have eight bound for the body ears. We have locust destroyers for necrons. We have mega red. I think these two shelves pretty much haven't changed. I don't know, they have a few things were taken out, a few things were added. A few things were moved down, I think it was. But anyway, I have the uh, Infernus Marine Sergeant, the new sculpt from the Combat Patrol magazine. I'm actually going to um, put him on a bigger base and have him as a um, the lieutenant with a combat weapon. So he can actually, he can have the infiltrate and fire plus one of pain and everything else. Because I think it's such a unique sculpt. That's a waste to put him in the unit and take the sergeant out and never use him. So I think if I use him like that, he will see table time. We have the bloat drones from the Death Guard. Necron Overlord with the Translocation Shroud. We have the Eldari Wind Riders. And we have the Nec uh, Necron Doomstalker. Just a tease. Sorry, I, I I keep teasing you with it. I just I'm very happy with what I've done with it so far for, on the immobile layer. And I, I know as I add other colours to it, like the wood and everything else, it's just gonna just anyway, that will be done this week. Chuck, chuck your comments below as always, guys. Any questions or anything, chuck them below. There is no silly questions. Even if you ask the question that I've answered three weeks ago. You could be new to the channel and, and, you know, 
or you didn't watch that video and you don't don't know so it's not a problem chuck your votes below as always guys if you're new to the channel see this for the first time hit the subscribe button because it costs you nothing turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers youtube so this video have more and more people which makes this growing amazing community of you guys grow even more and it is amazing and it is actually mind-blowing it was only well, i think it was what maybe two months ago just hit a thousand subscribers now we're almost 1100 i love it you know it helps you fantastic every day is a step closer to doing this full time for you guys for myself and for you guys for you guys so comment below, below as always hit the buttons for me don't forget to vote thanks for watching till next time take it easy